Let's take a look at installing the mount to the horn. So you're gonna see there's a channel and that channel is gonna have the head of the bolt uh, rested in there. You're gonna make sure it's flush and you're gonna put the mount on the horn. It's pretty simple. Now remember this bolt is included with the horn, not the mount. So you can see how the head of that bolt rests in there. There's a little bit of wiggle room. You're gonna definitely wanna use gravity to help you keep it in there. So on the mount, there's gonna be two arms. One's gonna be shorter, one's gonna be longer. One is 40 millimeters, the other is 45. The short arm of the mount must be mounted to the horn and the longer one will be mounted to the bike. So in this case, this arm is the shortest and that is the longer one. I'm just gonna use my finger to help show that. So again, 13 millimeter wrench. So you'll see there is some wiggle room inside of there. The head of that bolt is kind of locked. It won't rotate, uh, but you wanna make sure that it's seated all the way forward when you tighten this down. So you can see how it looks. There is a very small space there. If this was flipped around, there would be a, a bigger gap. You don't wanna have that. If you'd like, you can pop off this cover and rotate that. I think I'll do that. There's the diaphragm. Gonna line that up. It snaps back on. We're now ready to install it on the bike. All right, so this is really the best angle I can get uh, to show you right in the center of the picture is where that screw is that you need to remove. And again, that's gonna be the lower fairing stay bolt. It does require a T40 Torx. So go ahead and remove that bolt to get started. I got my GoPro out so you can see a little bit easier. That is the mount attached to the bike. Now it's just a matter of tightening that screw. So I'm just gonna Tighten that down. I do have Loctite on that bolt. We're gonna make sure that it clears. The bike on the center stand, it's a little freaky. So this is with the horn mount and the bike wheel straight. So you can see the clearance. Now let's turn it full lock other way. Full lock left. There's good clearance. At least at that angle, with the bars full left, it does not touch. So that is with the bars dead center. It actually doesn't touch there. But still, I will put that wrap on it, just because uh, I have it. I wasn't really concerned, but I figured I had it, may as well put it on there. So I've got the sleeve on there, that lower nut, do have that torque down and I've got the nut tightened on the horn and the horn mount. I would recommend tightening that nut down before you put the horn up on the mount. But it's very difficult to get that nut tighter when it's on the bike so I would just do it beforehand. Um, I would recommend putting that mount perpendicular on the horn itself. That will give you the best shot at having maximum clearance on the forks. And then again when you tighten that the lower bolt down uh, on the bike, do make sure that the horn itself is pushed back as far as it'll go. So that'll give you plenty of clearance. So really the only thing left to do is hook up the harness from the CanSmart to the horn, uh, run that wire back, and uh, the next thing we'll do is take a look at the light mount. 